a U.S. Nationals win, and uh, the, the Top Fuel Championship, all in that crucial final round. Right? I mean, uh, I don't think it could be written better. Uh, uh, it is unbelievable. I really, I really, I did have my doubts. Actually, I, you know, I always say we come to win, and that's true. We always come to win, and uh, it just seemed like the odds and statistics. I was like, man, I've had a pretty good year. We had a piston problem, so you know, there's a couple of races back, we banged a motor um, at another race. So we put this, the little motor that could in there. This motor is actually probably about 20 inches smaller than everybody else's. Uh, it's a 177, I think. Mm -hmm. We put the uh, older stuff back in there, and here we are. Yeah, yeah. responded. Absolutely. We had a 22. I was 22. Yeah. And. Vance was eight. He's 33. Yeah, you know, huge. That's amazing. Everybody that, said, "Oh, Harley's don't get down the track. Harley's yeah. don't do this." Well, yeah. bullshit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, we qualified one here, one and two. Randa was three. Mike Scott was nine on the tightest bump ever. Yeah. Uh, you know, we've proved that we can put bikes out there that can run the number. It was incredibly tight field, yeah. incredibly quick field, that, and that. Also, con you know, conflicts uh, tuning thing like because you know, first round, you're number one, number two. Yeah. You know, ninth of the time, you're not going up against a guy that ran a thirty. Yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So you can't just lay that's up. That's right. You know, that's you right. Gotta, you know, you got to still dig. You know. Yeah. You're going, man. We just what what he, and you, you got to yeah. go up. You know. Yeah. We went up. Yeah, yeah. That was like. You're racing yeah, Doug Vance on the first round. round. That's I like a final. Up, that's a final round. And he first round, else. I went up to run a 28, 29. Yeah. yeah. You know that was. You now I figured I needed it. Yeah. And you know it didn't make it. Yeah. Which was that's just the nature of the beast. Yeah. We, you know, had a miscalculation for first round against Doug. I, told a lot of people or some people that I was going to come here, I was going to beat Doug Vance in the first round and I was going to be tied in the finals. Win the U.S. Nationals and Ty was going to win the championship. Well, I didn't beat Doug in the first round, he beat me. He did a great job. They did a great job. And did you did you go first, just I, in case there, if, in case that that was a miscalculation that you, you could adjust for Ty's bike? 100%. Yeah. You know, you know, it's a team. Yeah. And then the, the goal of the team is yeah. to win. Yeah. You know, and Ty has the chance to win the championship. I'm going to sacrifice what I have to do to, you know. Sure. I was kind of hoping that maybe it would get wrapped up first round, maybe second round. I was going for Jay. I was going for Bob Malloy. But uh, that's the way it should have happened, you know. And uh, I was hoping that. It would work out where it's me and Jay in the final. Yeah. And that he would win. Yeah. You know, it's the Indy and all that. Yeah. Uh, and that, you know. That's very generous of you. Well, I, that we would both win. Yeah. And uh, then, uh, you know, they would have uh, lightened the uh, burden, mental yep. burden, I guess. Yeah. If he had. Yep. We could have, would have, should have. It's drag racing. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I guess that's what always hangs in the back of your mind is that it is drag racing. Anything can happen at any time. And uh, there are no sure things. Yeah. Yeah. That's what makes it fun. So then did... Uh did you make a call at the end of the track to, to change the change the tune up in Ty's bike, or did was Rex all set to do that, or somebody set to do that? Dom Lagana. Okay. Great friend of ours. Yep. He comes, you know, 
I talk to those guys a lot yep. Yep. about a bunch of things, and yep. and uh, we lo all looked at the racetrack, and we felt like the right lane was better than the left lane. But the part of the racetrack we can look at mm -hmm. was better. Mm -hmm. The part of the racetrack we can't look at, you know, mm -hmm. where I smoked a tire, mm -hmm. it was not better. Right. And then Sharky came behind me. Yep. You know, did the same we, thing. We work together. Yep. And he does the same thing. And then Dom comes running over and tells Rex, he goes, you got to change lanes. Yep. And you got to. He just told me, he goes, he's, man, I was sweating it. I was sweating it. because because this thing smokes a tire, Jay's going to cut my throat. Yeah. Right. <laughs> like, it, you know, it's tough. I mean, it's, yeah. there's a whole lot of decisions you got to make in a sure. short period of time. And you, you get to look at certain parts of the racetrack, but you can't look at all the racetrack. And sure. Then, you know, and you know this track. From what I've, you know, we had I hadn't raced here in I don't know 15 years, so we've yep. gotten nothing. And I talked to those guys, and Bobby says left lane traditionally is better than the right lane. Yeah. And but then you know Ty ran good in the right lane. I ran good in the right lane. Yep. You go up and look at the starting line, and there's a six foot bald spot in the left lane. Yep. Right lane don't have one. Yep. You know, my 60 foot was good, my light was good, but it didn't make it to the 330. So, yep. you know, the yep. race is 1,320 feet. Yeah. You know, so that's the problem. And, and did you just, did, did someone change the ramp at all in, in on, on Ty's bike? Uh, I changed the primary way. Huh? Okay. Took, took, took weight off the clutch, which was the, you know. We, no, but I mean right there in the, in the staging lane. In lanes. the staging lane. Oh, no shit. Oh, yeah. Okay. After I ran, like, yeah. the, the, you know, the marching orders are. Yeah. If I smoke the tire. Yeah. Pull weight off. Very good. All right. And that was why I went first. All right. So then you still had to get tied down the track uh, the rest of the day. Yeah. Against stiff, con against the tightest, tightest, most competitive field in the history of the sport. Yeah, we didn't really run, you know, stellar numbers. But you gotta, you know, it, it was what it was. It yeah. was, you know, it, it was hot. It was hundred and, you know, my my thing says it was 132 degrees on the starting yeah. line for the final round. Yeah, that's hot. That's hot. You know, the track was good for a hot track, but it yeah. still was a hot track. Yeah. yeah. And we probably, you know, and then you're you're juggling, you know, are we gonna, you know, it's a juggle. Yeah. Do we, do we want to? Go for it, yeah. or do we want to not lay up, but like make sure we, you sure. know? And so second round we kind of laid up, and we were behind the racetrack, and then the final round we kind of moved up to where we should have been for the second round, but the track was still we were, the track was still better than than uh, what we were expecting. Yeah, and you know actually first round. For us, the track that was the worst track we were on all day, yeah. which was still a good track. Yeah. But then, we, but when you got three bikes and two of them screw up and one gets down the racetrack, then you you, you know it kind of throws a curve. That that's the problem with multiple bikes. Yeah. You know you get a curveball. Yeah. Like or a knuckle a knuckle ball like <laughs> you know <laughs> like you know, here's Phil Necro like. And it's like that's the racetrack. Oh, yeah. it's good. It's not good. It's good. It's not good. Yeah. But yeah. But it, I thought it was real calm before the final, um, just because you know you reflect on that. I mean, if you won four races already, how good is that? All right. So. Tree comes down. Uh, we leave. And, uh, and I can see Doug, so I'm behind. Yeah. And uh, and it's starting to eat. You know, we typically put a tune up on the big end. Yeah. Uh, you know, kind of keeping a little safe conservative down low, and let it eat out the back. And it was starting to eat, and uh, and then he dropped the hole, and he went away real fast. His bike dropped the hole. Yeah, yes. his bike. And uh, and at that point, there's a pretty good bump at the finish line in the right lane, like a, a good one. So. Uh, I was trying to get in, uh, get my feet on the pegs, yep. and uh, and get ready for that bump, and cruise right by. 
<laughs> and um, how'd you feel at that moment? Yeah, just um, it were in disbelief almost, you know. Yeah. Uh, I wanted it real, real bad. Thought about it, prayed on it, you know. And, yeah. Uh, and it happened. So, man, that's fantastic. It's yep. one of the best days ever. Yep. And again, you know, it was a tough field. There was no. Oh man, really? Every, think, every race was tough this weekend. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure this is the lowest bump ever. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. And uh, look, so number eight beats number two in the final. Yep. And that's the way you want it. And yep. uh, I couldn't be happier that, that that it did come. I mean, this is absolutely. I, I don't think that I'll ever be able to top this year, like ever. Ooh, no, 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 no. You're supposed to repeat next year. What's he, who is this? Whoop. Yeah, but I mean, <laughs> come down to the, the final round of the final race and win by seven points, man. That, that is really the icing on the cake. Yes, sir. And yeah, so we're gunned up. We're ready for next year. Um, but it's going to be a tough one to top. Hats off to Doug. You know, we had a great season. He won four races. Uh, you know, I won five. Ricky won one. Um, it worked out for me. I mean, what can I say? It's a monumental achievement for the whole team. You know, we lost the first race. Everybody knows about the trailer. Yep. After we had the incident the first of the year, a lot of people wrote us off that, you know, we were, you know, actually before we even started, whenever they said Vance Nines is going to run top fuel. They said, well, you, nobody's going to stand a chance. They're just going to whatever. And then we missed the first race, and then it's like, but we didn't we didn't give up you know we didn't quit but we beat them in the final and we won tie us we we won the u.s nationals and the national championship and on, on the same day which is pretty damn rewarding you know ty had a you know an epic year i think five rate five wins there's mm -hmm. 10 races in the year he won five mm -hmm. Um, ran good everywhere we went. You know, was, we won the U.S. Nationals. Yeah, that's awesome. You know, it's the team. first time Nitro Bikes have run here as a class since '84. Yeah, it's huge. Oh, it's huge. I really wanted to win this race. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I did. Yeah, me. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah, but <laughs> Ty won, which was you know, yeah, still awesome. Yeah, you know, it was an awesome finish to the season. Yeah. Um, it's been 22 years here since Elmer died. Yep. Big deal. Yep. So, tremendous effort from everyone involved, like family, friends, team. You know, we, we stay gone a long time. We work too much. Uh, what do you think this does for uh, the, the sport as a whole? This, this this uh this race this weekend great race uh great final for the championship uh what do you think i don't know it it, it shows that it proves mm -hmm. actually this whole season has proved that we we're you know we're not a, a sideshow act yeah you know it's a we're we are racers yeah and we race hard yeah and we race good yep you know we don't you know we don't hold up the racetrack we don't you know sit on the starting line for 20 minutes adjusting wheelie bars like some other classes do yep for, no for, oh yeah you guys you stage know? as quick you guys stage as quick as anybody out here yeah i mean if we, not we, quicker we're here for and we're here for business i mean we mean business yeah and you know it it's just you know it, at the end of the day it's, it's a very rewarding day can't complain and uh this is definitely the icing on the cake get to come to the the big go and get two trophies is a spectacular thing. Ty, who would you like to thank? Oh, definitely Spevco. You know, we are, uh, Spevco is super busy. Been helping people like Lockheed Martin and Siemens, Con Edison, and uh, there's a lot of great things going on there. They're big and demanding companies. They are, they are, but they're great, great people to work with. And, um, you know, my hat's off to everybody at, at home and at work. I mean, man, we got two checked out, and everybody at Spepco did a great job, and uh, and so that helped a whole lot. Like that really helped a lot to know that we've done some final acceptance stuff, and it's 
getting out the door and uh, everybody doesn't know how appreciative I really am of that. J. Turner Racing, um, them a whole bunch. Uh, Mickey Thompson, uh, Goodson, Lucas Oil. Thank you so much, my family. Fantastic. All right, brother. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, is, this gonna, is your phone going to be ringing off the hook all uh, fall and winter? People wanting bikes or wanting to rent bikes or wanting to build bikes or what's it going to be like? I don't know. We're, we're busy. You know, we're going to go home and we're, we're building a blower bike. We're going to try to get it right. finished as soon as possible. Right. And uh, anybody wants a blower bike, call me. <laughs> Every part we got is available to the public, unlike somebody else. I got gotcha. you. All right, cool, man. Well, congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Ready for your interview, Connor? Well, I just got a text from Michael Ray. Yeah. And he's probably getting mad if I post this. Uh huh. Say oh, this. so I won't tell anybody. What is it? Sure. I know you won't because at their home base went and kicked their asses. Great job, Matty. What do you think about being? Part of this Dish top fuel championship. Yeah. <laughs> what uh, was it ever in doubt? No. Never no. was, was it? All right. All right. And then I also told Ty the other day he called me up and he goes, "Hey, what do you want for your birthday?" And I said, "I just want to win in Indy, baby." <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. And it happened. Not many people yeah. get that kind of a birthday present. Yeah. A heavy birthday. Yeah. yeah. Maddie, best day ever for you? Yes. Right. Sure. <laughs> I was chilling like crazy out on the starting line with them. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Very good. I, I saw you over there. Yeah. Uh, how does it feel to have the bike with your name on the Pretty side of good. it? Name yeah. on, Your name's on the side of that yeah. motorcycle, and it is the yeah. national champion. Yeah. Think of all the big corporate names that went on the sides of vehicles that went home today losing. And Maddie won the U.S. Nationals. Maddie won the Top Fuel Championship. It's pretty strong. Yeah.